day and this is actually on 12 volts I might even try it on 24 but for now 12 will do so what I've done is I've disconnected it because we've got it's 54 degrees on the uh, heat sink of that it's holding itself out okay so I don't think we should curse it but let's just put it in see and we've got spike I think the voltage it looks like that's 78 volts peak to peak. Wow. Okay. And then I'll I'll just bring the frequency up instead. And you can see. But it's quite capable of controlling the speed. There we go. That's full speed now. So we can play around with this. And it seems quite happy. We 67. Right, I'll stop there. Um because that's working, I don't know if I'll be able to actually drive the vehicle like that, but what, what we do have still is some instability here. I need to get that stable working again. I don't know why it's not. <laughs> I've blown it. So if I actually get that stable working again, then we've probably got quite a simple system that doesn't involve a CPU. Uh, and I'm guessing that the stable circuit will be more stable, to be honest, because it doesn't rely on the voltage. I think the voltage is dropping, so it's resetting the CPU, and then we get things going wrong. But that's a success. This device now, with it bridged across for the two, we can actually use this. Yeah, so it can handle it. Um, I was worried about the robustness of the device itself. Yeah, it's still got 25 volts on the batteries. I was worried about the, the robustness, and also, uh, now I've got it working on the 12 volt battery system, which is the most current, because obviously it has to, the power is the same, so it has to increase the current to make it turn. If I actually put it onto 24 volts now, I can now control it. Uh, I don't want it flying off the axle stands, you see. So, but it's now controllable, which is good. So uh, we'll probably do that next, and then we'll have 24 volts instead of 12 across that. This is a 600 volt device, so there's no problem with that. And if I can get it working on 24 volts, we'll probably find that it's far more uh, controllable because we're not pulsing current through at high rates. We can take a lower current and higher voltage. Yeah, and then eventually, obviously, four batteries. We're going to have to be very careful and very confident in that. But I think we'll make a contact before then so we can quickly switch it off before it breaks something. Yeah, 55, it's cooling down, you can see. Anyway, we'll leave it.